30 police truck at Yoruba rally today. See what they came to do. BBC News Pigeon explains to the world. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware that um, in Ibadan, that's all your state, where Shea Makinde is the governor. A lot happens today. Um, awareness for Abdullah's Republic was created alongside people coming out, you know, to um, speak on their support and why they want to do the West Republic. Um, Yoruba leaders were there to, you know, and sensitize the people, educate the people on the need and why the West Republic is a must and must be actualized. Why the people must work together as one single unit and entity and why this must be a reality. Why it is no longer um, time to keep quiet and allow things to slip by. People must get into action, and that time is now. Trucks of, you know, about 30 police trucks get present. My people, not be small something. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's understand what really happened today. 30 police truck at Yoruba rally today. See what they came to do as P BBC Pigeon, you know, covered and... Um, made the whole world aware thousands of yorubas are presently at different strategic points and places in ibadan both women children and even married were currently occupying the streets with demand for the oduduwa's republic correspondents with the bbc pg news said there are about 30 hillocks at protest ground though these are not only around to ensure that people yeah, doing the right thing, but also for a smooth running and accordance to the plan and to ensure that hoodlums do not take over the rally. Governor Shei Makinde has graciously sent police and trucks and well-equipped vehicles to ensure that everything was done decently in and in order and nobody comes to hijack the process. The people have spoken highly of the governor and how he has supported with the security personnel who we are seeing all around the vicinity, ensuring that things were going on as plans, not allowing hoodlums to take over or overthrow the process by causing catastrophe. The people have said Governor Shea Makinde has shown a good example by his gesture of releasing the security operative, discussing with the commissioner of police and ensure that everything was on guard, ready to ensure safety of lives and property and a peaceful rally. The multitude of Yorubas presently in Ibadan was led by the Yoruba group known as Elena or Mo Odu as the chant self independence songs and rally round. Sunday Igboho was seen in the rally with other people as he walked around with the people as they continued to heal and sing aloud and chant songs of independence. The only way in the air was an excitement and you could sense the stench of freedom as people look anticipatingly waiting for Oduduwa's republic. The only way in the air you can see was a peaceful protest as the people sing, celebrate and they continue to hail their champion Sunday Ugboho who was in their midst as comments began to come in. The people of the state has gone on to celebrate the governor Shei Makinde for the wonderful gesture for his wonderful celebration for his wonderful assistance and support that he has done, not only in saying or speaking, but actualizing by bringing in security operative to ensure smooth running of the process. Sunday Boho, while speaking with the crowd, has also commended Governor Shei Makinde, that is a very good man. A true son of the Oduduwa's Republic who wants to see his sons, his brothers and sisters everyone free to ensure that the sons and daughters of Yoruba land enjoy freedom. We should all celebrate our leaders who are behind us in this struggle and in this fight. They may not be here with us right now, but I tell you they are all supporting us and they are the wonderful people who we are all working together to ensure that Oduduwa's Republic become a reality. Shei Makinde is an amiable governor, one who should be celebrated and let us all go ahead and celebrate this wonderful man who has given us this wonderful platform and has sent out security operative. He does not have to do it, but he has done it anyway. 
And so we must say thank you by celebrating our wonderful governor. What Shei Makinde has done is a call to all Goda governors and sons and daughters of Yoruba soil who has opportunity to support their people to come out en masse. This governor has led by example by showing others the way. We must continue to fight for our rights, for what belongs to us. We must not retreat, as retreating is a sign of weakness. We must continue to push ahead and raise up our voices, knowing that we have come to declare we are free. Free, freedom at last for Yoruba nation. My people, this is what happened today. Trucks of, you know, 30 counting. Um, BBC Pigeon is just um, keeping us up to date of what is going on right now. About 30 police uh, helix be on ground to bring about security to ensure that no hoodlums or, you know, anybody who is not supposed to be there to just come and, you know, uh, scatter or try to disrupt what was going on. It was a very peaceful outcome and um, the governor, Shei Makinde, has really been commended by his people for his gesture of sending the security operative on ground and um, he's been celebrated. And this is, I think this is a very welcome, you know, welcome development. When people are agitated, why not, if not, so long as it's peaceful. And listen, in the constitution, there is provision for peaceful protest. If that is what we get the word out there, if that is what we get the attention, why not? People should not be deprived of expressing themselves. If they intend to make their grievances or get the attention, it should be done without, you know, being oppressed, being, you know, coerced or being pushed down. And I think this is rather a very welcome development. What Shea Makinde has done is leading and le moving by example. He did not only just keep quiet and say and be passive about it. You know, he did not say nothing, but guess what he did? What he did was enough volume. Yes, what he did was enough volume. Putting out security operative to ensure safety of every life. In fact, he's getting praise out of it. He's getting, you know, the people now can respect him more and say, this is, I mean, I mean, he's not against us, if you get what I mean. And that is what she should be. The government should not be seen as oppressing or opposing the people. Rather, the government should be seen as being understanding of the people's plight that's where people feel you know they, they understand and they know that the government is also aware of what they are going through rather than just you know pushing people down you cannot achieve much by doing that leave us a comment god bless you bye for now